Hello everyone, today we are going to create this 4D hypercube animation. This is a follow along tutorial video so we will slow down and make sure you have everything you need to create this project. First use the default cube, shift D to duplicate it and scale it up by 2. So in the wireframe mode, Ctrl J to join them into one object. You tap into the edit mode. Select the four vertices using F to make a face, and then you only need to do it three times um, along the vertices edges. I did it more than three times. I made some faces on the top, and it turns out not very useful. The so four vertices faces should do the job. The main purpose is to create edges that needed to connect the small cube to the big cube, which requires four edges on the top and four edges on the bottom. So that's the whole modeling process. We need to add a wave or wireframe modifier to mod Fire removes all the faces automatically and then we can clean up the mesh by removing some vertices. So we can go to the object, clean up, merge by distance and change the amount to 0.1 and enter. So you can see 88 vertices removed. Now we need to convert the mesh to, to curve. So we go to the object, convert, curve, and go to geometry setting. The bevel round depth is 0 0.02. Add a metal material by changing the metallic number into one, and go to the preview mu or mode. Now we have a hybrid cube. To make the animation, we set the total frame to 120 and then go to the editor mode. Box select the face and then Ctrl H to hook to a new object. We need to have a total of 4 hooks and keyframe the location and scale. For the four faces. So for the first hook on the frame 1, the location is minus 200. Zero, On the frame 120, the location is 
So for the second hook on the frame 1, the location is minus 1, 0, 0 at the scale 1. And on the frame 120, the location is minus 2, 0, 0 and scale the 2. For the third hook on the frame 1, the location is 1, 0, 0. On the frame 120, the location is minus 1, 0, 0. For the last hook on the frame 1, the location is 2, 0, 0 and scale and 2. On the frame 120, the location is 1, 0, 0 and scale 1. So now it's time to add a background, background, camera and the lights. So here we go, we made this lovely loop animation. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.